In this video, I will demonstrate how to export data from this LibreOffice database into a comma-separated text file that can be used as the basis for import into a different system or process. This video will cover the process of exporting these three tables using SQL. OK, let's get to it. Out of the four tables here, I want to export three of the table keywords, table seed keywords, and table suggested bid. These tables will be exported to the database folder of this database. I'm using a split database, and the subsequent video will show you how to create a split database. It's actually quite easy, and it's a lot more robust than the regular LibreOffice database. So just out of interest, the data in table keywords will look like this. And when I export it, it will go into what's known as a comma-separated file. Each of these fields, or columns, will be separated by separate columns. This particular um, table has something like, I just click to tell the cursor to go to the end, 4,644 records in it. And table secret seed keywords, just 10. And table suggested bid. It's indicating 51, but that's all the database has retrieved so far. When I hit the cursor to end button there, you can see it's got 2,208 records. So I will be creating text files in the database folder of this database that will contain this particular data. So as I've said earlier, this is a split database and what it looks like on my Macintosh um, hard drive is something like this. So so the database is called front.odb, just for front end. And within it, you have a database folder where the data, and this is automatically created by the system. You have a database folder where the data is held. You have a driver folder that you don't need to pay any attention to. And the forms folder. Now, the data that we export will be exported into this database folder. So you, you will have text files placed there. In order to export the contents of table keywords, we have a three-step process. First, create a text table, which is a special kind of LibreOffice table that is used to link to text files. Just need to change double to varchar for the currency field. Then I click execute and the table is created. I now need to link this text table to a CSV file. The CSV will automatically be created as a result of executing this next query. Executing this set table query results in an export file called table keywords.csv being created in the database folder that I showed you earlier. Now I'm amending the SQL to insert all the records from table keywords into table export keywords. This will have the effect of writing the data from table keywords into the text file table keywords.csv. Now this may seem like a long-winded process, however the upside is that you can then put these steps into a macro and have a one-click solution. Here you can see that the keywords.csv file has been created and is located in the database folder as mentioned earlier. If this was part of an automated LibreOffice macro solution, the macro could for example move the file out of this location and put it somewhere else instead. So now I'm going to open it in TextEdit. This is a Mac TextEdit application similar to Windows Notepad. And here we have the comma separated file containing the data from table keywords in a form that is ready for import into any other software system such as Excel, Access, FileMaker or any custom business application. As we no longer need table export keywords as the text file has been created, I will remove it from the database by issuing the drop table SQL command or SQL command. Although it appears as if nothing has happened when we refresh the database window, you can see that table export keywords has in fact been removed. Now we do the same again for table C keywords, that is we create a text table and put in the fields and execute it. So table C keywords.csv has been created as you see when we refresh the table. Now go into SQL again and we need to link it up to a text file now. So with the set table, table seed keywords.csv command here, we set a source to a new file, table seed keywords.csv. And when we execute this SQL statement, table seed keywords.csv will be created in the database folder. And now we transfer the records from table seed keywords into table seed keywords.csv, which will result in the CSV text file 
been populated with the data from table seed keywords. So it's really just a three-step process. Create the text table, link its source against the text file, and then populate it from the original table. And here you can see the seed keywords that CSV file has been created. And now it just remains to do the last file, table suggested bid. That's what it looks like. You can see there's quite a few records there. Um, we're going to send the cursor to the bottom, 2,208 records in total in the table that need to be transferred to a text file. So now let's do the three steps again. Create text table and give it a name. In this case, table suggested bid export and put in its fields. Now we need to link and create the target text file that the record will be exported to. In this case, it will be table suggested bid.csv. Then we execute the query. Now we need to populate table suggested bid export with the records from table suggested bid, which again has the effect of writing the data to the text file. Then we refresh the database so we can see the newly created tables. This step is not required in order for the process to work as the table is there regardless of whether it's displayed in the document window. It's for information purposes only. Now it's time to get rid of these two tables as they're no longer required and I like to keep my database neat and tidy. Stops things from getting too confusing. And we're done. So here, I have shown you how to get data out of a base database. In another video, I will show you how to get external data into a base database for further processing.